Bloody hell. Right, where's it gone? Right, forwards, right, 100 years, right, I know that. In 1916, Parliament passed the Summertime Act, creating British summertime. Summer, summer. <laughs> it was result and <laughs> campaign started in 1907 by William Willett to stop people wasting valuable hours of light in the summer months to save fuel during the war. Ah, Ge- oh, that's where it is. Aye, that's why we had to put the clocks forward and backward. To save, to save fuel. Aye, through All the there. war. Oh, there. Oh, you know. Germany was the first country to adopt the clock changing plan in April. That year, for the UK, followed in May. While daylight savings time is observed in most places in Europe. North America and Australia, most places in Africa and Asia, don't observe the practice. So I don't think they have to change their clocks, I don't think. But anyway, when the clocks go forward again, which will be next year, on Sunday, March 29th next year. Mm. Bloody times! I tell you. There's a reason for everything, isn't there? Yeah. So why does the clocks go back? Oh, it's because of the First World trying War. Trying to save fuel. Trying to save fuel. I, my backside. <laughs> no, because they were using fuel to, for aeroplanes. Aye. Oh, and um, she was a gas. Because down London, that's all they had, gas. I know. We didn't have gas up here until... Well, I've never had gas in here 